Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see who is it that you're going to end up with, who is it that you're going to get married to. It is going to be a general reading and there's also actually going to be a part two to this reading as well. And in part two of the reading we are going to explore the questions, uh, sorry, the messages in a little bit more detail and perhaps continue on from part two of the reading as well. Um, now for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below just um, where the video is here along with the extension reading link for part two of the reading. Okay guys, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and let's see who is it that you're going to end up with, who is it that you're going to get married to. Okay. Oh wait, there's two cards here. <laughs> and I guess the Page of Pentacles kind of came out in reverse, didn't it? So I, I'll read it upright and in reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for some of you, this is where it's quite interesting actually. For some of you, this could be a person that you have walked away from or someone here who has walked away from you. Um, it feels like... It feels like this is someone whom you are or maybe have been romantically involved with but for whatever reason it just didn't work out. Maybe due to the timing, the circumstances, you know, things didn't necessarily happen as you would have wished for them to have happened. So it, it is it does feel like, you know, it's someone here who's walked away from you is likely to come back into the picture at a time and at a point where everything is just so much more in alignment for the both of you, okay, where you're both um, ready, okay, you're ready to love each other the way you both deserve to be loved, where you're ready for, you know, the the destiny of this connection, of this relationship to be fulfilled, where you're ready to help each other, lift each other up, you know, where you're ready to settle down and make a long-term commitment for one another. Because the Ten of Cups, it's, it's this energy where you may have been through a storm, <clears throat> excuse me, whether it's with this person, okay, you may have been through this storm, whether it's with this person who walked away, or maybe you've been, you know, you haven't had a lot of luck in relationships in the past because, um, well, they didn't end well for you, okay? And you, you had a hard time, um, you've had a very turbulent time, especially emotionally with uh, past and previous lovers. The Ten of Cups is a strong indication that the person that you're going to end up with here is going to be the one that was meant for you so it feels like you were meant to get to the wrong you were meant to sort of you know go through the wrong ones to get to the right one because essentially the wrong one is putting you onto the right one or if this is a past energy that has walked away from some from uh, for some of you then this person is coming back okay they're coming back at a time in your life when they're ready they're ready to love you and they're ready to you know to, to be loved in return they're ready for they're ready to have this happily ever after with you and this is what it feels like with the ten of cups this is an energy of this is the storybook romance this is the happily ever after you know the disney-esque kind of tale um it does feel like this is someone maybe who's a little bit younger than yourself or someone who has a very they have very youthful qualities um, very, the energy is very youthful, very playful, very energetic, charismatic, um, very charming as well. So even if they're not younger, they may appear younger than they actually are. Um, they may look younger, um, or they just may, you know, just very youthful, very playful type of energy. Maybe that's why we're getting that um, younger kind of energy. This is someone who wants commitment, and this is someone who's going to want. Um, 
this person is going to give you stability, is going to give you security, is going to, you're going to feel very comfortable with this individual, okay? Um, you're going to feel very safe with this person. There's also like healing qualities uh, to this energy as well. I don't know. I feel like there's two. I feel like there's some. There's either two people that you're going to have to make a decision. So, for example, for some of you, there is someone coming back into the picture. But when this person comes back, maybe you're already in a relationship with someone else, and you might have to choose between this person or the other, or you have to make some sort of choice or some sort of decision that is going to require a compromise or a sacrifice with regards to this person. Okay. Um, the, the person that you're going to end up with, I feel like there's just, there's so much momentum here in the energies. There's just, this is someone whom you're going to feel very, you're going to feel good about yourself when you're with this person. You're going to feel very good about what you have, very good about this person's intentions and their plans for you and for the relationship. Um, with regards to this individual as well, I feel like there could be from um, work-wise or career-wise, uh, the financial sector is coming up very strongly with this individual. So they may work in the finance industry, accounting, um, financial advisor. They may also be juggling two different, uh, two different jobs here. I'm also seeing that there's also this they're doing very well, okay? Whatever it is that they're doing for Korea, they're, they're doing it, they're really good at it, okay? They found, it feels like, even if they are working as a financial advisor or even if they're working in finance, they love it. It's something that they love. They, they found a way of taking a hobby and turning it into a money-making ID or they found a way of taking something that they love and getting and getting paid for it and it's that they're good at it is the thing with the six of wands energy this person is destined for success okay this person is destined for fame and recognition uh, and I feel like this person is going to go very far especially with it with their career they've got a lot of drive this person has a lot of ambition um, they could also be someone who's famous that's the other thing that I'm seeing either they're already famous they could be like internet famous um, they could be you know a celebrity they may uh, rub shoulders uh, with celebrities here or this is someone who is destined for fame okay so um, someone who has all these like they have star powers what I'm seeing and um, they have the star quality as well it's a very strong psychic connection as well okay with the presence of the high priestess um, they have um, a very there's a lot of there's also a strong feminine qualities so uh, to this individual either they're very in touch uh, with their feminine side okay or they're just coming across as someone quite uh, feminine um, I'm also seeing that you guys will have or do have uh, and already existing uh, it's like a psychic connection you guys are both very in tune to each other's thoughts and each other's feelings here um, they they are coming across as a bit of a, a mystery figure there's a there's this air of mystery to this person um, and especially if this is someone who's a new energy okay I feel like it's what's really going to captivate you. It's, it's what's really going to hold your attention. The fact that you can't, you won't be able to read this person. Okay, you'll have a hard time reading this person because this is someone they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. Okay, um, and especially when it comes to their emotions, they are a little bit emotionally reserved. Um, but that's not to say that they aren't, you know, um, emotionally mature or anything or they don't they're not very affectionate it's just that they're quite it takes them some time to warm up to people and it takes them some time to really you know um, express their emotions so they may come across as a little bit cold or distant or detached even okay or even if this is like someone who's coming back they may come back in that way and it may take a while for the both of you to sort of get things back to where they were. But underneath that exterior, I feel like it's they're only 
coming across that way because they are someone who is quite sensitive and they're aware of it and it's like a protective mechanism they're trying to protect their gentle um, heart here um, okay guys in part two of the reading we're going to explore a little bit more about this person what they look like how you'll meet if this is a new energy we want to see how the two of you will meet if it's a past energy we want to know when this person is coming back okay um, their intentions do appear sincere it does appear like this person is coming back with the right intentions if they are coming back okay um, and we'll see what else the cards have to say so follow me via the extension link below um, I just want to thank you guys for your time and your energy your attention please show your support to the channel by liking sharing or subscribing bye